What's going on everybody? Jake the Happy Snake here and welcome back to Jake Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yesterday was amazing. I won 125,000 pounds for the second straight episode and I won it the exact same way as I did on Wednesday. I took a complete guess on the 125,000 pound question. That's exactly what I did on Wednesday. Uh, actually, in fact, I also took a guess on the 64,000 pound question yesterday. Uh, I mean, I wasn't risking anything. I was sitting on a safety net level. Uh, so I took a guess on that one, and my guess was right. That was pretty awesome. And I figured I would probably have to walk away with the, with the 64,000. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go for it because it was a it was a 125,000 pound question that I had previously, like quite recently. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just going to go for it because at least if I get it wrong, I'll know what the correct answer is this time. I took a guess, and my guess was actually right, which is like I still can't get over. That. That's crazy. So the last two episodes, I won 125,000 pounds out of pure luck. So yeah. It's been a good week. 125,000 pounds was converted to $125,000, and that brought my overall total to $63,029,442. That is seven straight episodes that I've won at least 32,000 pounds. So I would like to keep that streak going. It's a nice streak to have. And I hit the $63 million mark yesterday, which was awesome. So we'll see how today goes. So let's have a good ending to this awesome week. Here we go. First question for a hundred pounds. Which of the following is a name for Ireland? Emerald Isle. Okay, it's a hundred pounds. Here we go for 200. The man who opened a brewery in Dublin in 1759 was Arthur Guinness, 200 pounds. All right, for 300 pounds. Which of these is a national emblem of Wales? Leek. Okay, 300 pounds. Here we go. For 500, which great Trojan hero was killed by Achilles? Um, Hector. And now for 1,000 pounds. British standards in... Institution approval mark is in the shape of a kite. Good. And there we go. Thousand pounds guaranteed. All right. So we're 10 away from a million. So all three lifelines. You know, I don't think it's going to happen again. But if I was to get, the get to the quarter million level, I would really... Be tempted to go for it. It'd be nice to get there with at least one life one left. For any, anyways, for two thousand pounds, what term describes a vehicle traveling in neutral? That would be coasting. So I will say C. Final answer. All right. I've got a real. I've got a real nice. I've got a lot of momentum going right now. It's really nice, actually. Um. <clears throat> so I want to keep it going if possible. Two thousand pounds. Here we go. Question seven for 4,000. What is the name of Fraser Crane's psychiatrist brother? Um, The revival of the show just came out. But I'm not sure if that would help me. I'm going to use the 50-50. Niles, final answer. Yes! Okay. Uh, it was kind of a guess, but that's okay. Okay. That is 4,000 pounds, two lifelines left. Let's try to hold on to them if possible. Here we go for 8,000 pounds. Which of the Gibb brothers was not a member of the Bee Gees? Okay, I had this recently, and I actually remember this now, thankfully. It's Andy. This is one of those questions where I had a hard time remembering it, but now I think I finally have it down. Andy, I have to remember that. Andy, Andy, Andy. Okay. That's 8,000 pounds. So we, we're in position to win 32,000 again. I don't want to mess it up. Here we go. Here's the ninth question for 16,000 pounds. 
in which Dickens novel does the character Abigail Magwitch appear? Um, great Expectations. I had this, again, fairly recently, over the last week. And I was like, not sure. I think I used a lifeline, but now I'm definitely not going to use a lifeline. Great Expectations, final answer. Yes! Okay. Good. I like how this is going. Now, I still have the audience, which is a little bit scary. So if I have to use a lifeline this next question, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. But we're six away from the million. We still have two lifelines, so we'll see how it goes. Here, we, here comes question 10 for 32,000 pounds. What is formed? Haha! <laughs> yes! What is formed in the, in the process of ossification? That would be bone! So, D is my final answer. Nice. And this got really interesting. I have made it into the last five questions in this version with one lifeline left. I don't think I've done it with two lifelines. So, we've got 32,000 pounds. That's guaranteed. Two lifelines left. Let's... Please not mess this up. Here we go for 64,000 pounds. What kind of animal is a burrow? I really think it's donkey. I really, really think it's donkey. But here's the problem. There was one time recently that I took a guess on the 64,000 pound question with the phone a friend left, and I was wrong. And what would make that more painful is if I had one more lifeline, which is right now. If I go with donkey and it's wrong, I'm gonna be so angry. Burrow. Wildebeest. I'm just gonna do it. Donkey, final answer. <sighs> yes! Yes! Holy crap, I cannot believe what's happening right now. We still have two lifelines. I actually can't get over this. Four away from the million. Still two lifelines. Can I continue to get lucky? Here we go for 125,000 pounds. Which spy was nicknamed after an orphan boy created by Kipling. Okay, so this I don't know. They finally got me. Um, so I have to think about what lifeline I should use. I don't think the audience is going to help me at all. So I think my best bet is to phone a friend. Because the phone a friend has a better chance. Now, they, there's a good chance that the phone a friend will say that they have no idea. But if they give an answer, if they give an answer at all, then their answer is going to be right. I've never seen their, I've never seen them give an answer in this version or the Australian version and then have it be wrong. Um, so I'll do that. And if they have no idea, I'll ask, I'll phone a friend first. If they have no idea, then I'll ask the audience and then see what I want to do from, from there on out. If I ask the audience first... I feel like it's not really gonna help. I, I don't think the audience is gonna have a clear cut answer at this point in the game, so I'm gonna phone a friend. Let's see. What does the phone a friend think? Philby? Okay, I'm gonna trust the phone a friend. Philby, final answer. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Three episodes in a row, but it's not over yet. I could still lose 93,000. We are three away from the million. I still have the audience. This is actually, this is, this is, this is crazy. Here we go for 250,000 pounds. Which of the following is not part of Dante's The Divine Comedy? Redemption, Purgatory, Hell, Paradise. 
Okay, so I guess I'll ask the audience now, but asking asking them on the on the thirteenth question is yeah. I'm a little scared. Let's go ahead and see what they say. I really don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh boy, sometimes in this series, there are some like really, like, I, I have some decisions that are super easy to make. Yeah, I'm gonna walk away, no problem. You know, that was like yesterday, that was like, um, that was like Wednesday, you know, 125. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna walk away without really even thinking about it. Um, this is not one of those times. I actually am not sure what I'm gonna do. But I'm going to have to decide what I want to do. Only 3% more said C. Would I be an idiot if I went with D? Or should I just walk? See, the problem is, is I've walked away with 125,000 pounds the last two episodes. I'm, You know what, guys? I'm going to go for it. I'm going to say Paradise. Final answer. Oh, man. Why did I do that? Ah! Ah! That's the problem with trusting the audience so deep into the game. That was the third... A was the third highest percentage. Dang it. I said in the middle of that episode that I didn't think I was going to make it to the... That I, I didn't think I was going to win 125000 again. I did actually get past there, which I was surprised about. I was surprised I made it that far with two lifelines left. But you know what, though? It is what it is. 32,000 pounds. It's converted to $32,000, and that brings my overall total to $63,061,442. That's it for today, guys. I, th I thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have an awesome week. Oh, I hope you all have an awesome weekend. And I'll see you back here on Monday for a brand new week. Thanks, guys, for watching. Peace out.